to the Bama Stadium and see how that atmosphere is like. I've been to Doak the last two times we've gone there and had both W, so I'm 2-0 and in Doak. And then I've been to the Swamp. I don't like it there. I think it's ugly. But yeah, it smells like gators. I hate it. <laughs> I, yeah, I totally agree, but there's definitely Death Valley. I want to go to Clemson when we win the Coastal this year, so. <laughs> but, yeah, there, there's definitely stadiums I want to go to that's on campus. I do love Hard Rock, though. I think Hard Rock is a special place. It is. It is a special, very, very special place. I love our rental stadium. Hey. <laughs> it's Miami Dolphins rental stadium. Remember that. <laughs> <laughs> good deal well hey john thank you so much bro for coming on man and uh continue to check out john's work on the state of view he's always posting fire articles on there um and yeah thanks again for coming on man you're welcome anytime thank you guys enjoy your candy marsh and your mountain dew jordan oh, thanks bro <laughs> have a great day guys see you john bye all righty good so, deal uh, Let's see. We just got a quick wrap up. Uh, I guess we need to do our top five, but we're uh, dude, we're like pushing an hour and a half almost. So, mm-hmm. um, okay. What is on your top five then? Oh shoot. Um, let's see. So, I want to see a like a a day game in the SEC. Doesn't yeah. really matter where. I mean, like Knoxville would be fun if Tennessee was good. Um you know, Bama or Auburn or, you know, pretty much any SEC team, as long as it's like an on-campus stadium, the team's playing good and it's not Florida. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? So so that would be on there. Um, I'd love to see the Super Bowl. Okay. Um, you know, it doesn't matter where, hopefully. I mean, it'd be fun to see the Super Bowl in Miami, honestly. Mm-hmm. Um. Trying to think. I, I'd love to go to an NBA Finals game. I yeah. know that's not really like a specific venue, but I'm just a huge NBA fan. Um, how about this? We'll say I'd love to see an NBA Finals game here in Salt Lake. Oh, <laughs> I, all right. Dude, I, I, that would be – that would honestly be awesome because I love the Heat with all my heart, but like – they're, they're, I've never been in a louder arena, and I think the Jazz have some of the best fans in the NBA. Those, that would be insane. Yeah, and I'm, I mean, I've been to a number of of different stadiums. I've been to, I've been in uh, Boston Garden, I've been Madison Square Garden, I've been to Staples Center, and uh, like, I, I think that where the Jazz play, it's called Vivint Smart Home Arena. I think the reason why it's so much louder is because like. The uh, the lower bowl is so steep. I guess the lower and upper bowl, you know, and in like Staples and and Boston TD Garden, um, it's like the lower bowl is kind of flat, you know. So if you're sitting on the thirtieth row, you're like you're pretty far away from the court. Whereas uh, here in Salt Lake, like it's steep, man. You're sitting right on top of the court pretty much, even if you're upper bowl. And yeah. so uh, it's it's tight quarters. It's it makes it loud. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I've been to playoff games at the at the Jazz Arena, and then I've also been to Heat playoff games, and yeah, that that Jazz. I, I have to say that it was much louder in the in the old uh, Vivint Smart Home Arena. But um, okay, anything else on your bucket list? Uh, let's see. So I had Super Bowl, I had Finals game in Salt Lake. I had well, I mean, dude, I got to throw the Rock on there, Hard Rock Stadium, just because I, yeah. I haven't seen a Miami game, so. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's on there, and then let's go. Um, I th- I'll just throw a, a baseball game at Yankee Stadium on there. Okay, all right. I, w- I wish it was old Yankee Stadium, but you know, it, it has to be Yankee Stadium. That's that's yeah. what America's all about, you know. No, absolutely. I I having been to I I've been to both old and new Yankee Stadium. Love love them both, but yeah, the old one definitely. Uh, it's like going to a game in the Orange Bowl compared to the a game at the Hard Rock at Hard Rock Stadium. I mean, both places can be awesome. Like both new places are awesome, but like it, it, there's just something from the old ones that they. Yeah. Get. Hey, so as far as I go, um, I want to. I, I definitely want to. I want to go to an LSU game and tailgate at LSU. Um, like night games at LSU are just like I've just heard are just insane. 
Um, and I and I love I love the SEC. Having lived like in the Panhandle and the Alabama area, like I've grown to love the SEC and their passion and their fans. And um, yeah, I, I want to go to a Bama game, Tennessee game. I want to tailgate on the river with Tennessee fans. I've heard that is awesome. Um, I wanted I've always wanted to go to a, a Raiders game and sit in the black hole, but they're not in Oakland anymore. Um, so that sucks. I want to go see my Cowboys in Dallas. Um, cause I've seen them play at Miami a few times, but I've never actually seen them in Dallas. Um, I want to go to a really, really big rivalry game, like a, like an Ohio state Michigan game or, um, like an army Navy, I think would be awesome. Um, but yeah, that Michigan Ohio state game has has always been on my bucket list. Also Michigan, Notre Dame. I think that would be really cool. I want to go to all 30 baseball stadiums. I'm probably about almost halfway there, but, um, and then what's one final one? Um, I won college football season and maybe I'll do this for a job in the future. Um, cause I'm going into reporting, but I want to spend each Saturday of the college football season at a different stadium. Um, so like one week I want to be obviously like in hard rock stadium. And then the next week I want to be maybe, um, in Gainesville for a Gator game, and then so on and so forth. So that's that's my bucket list. Dude, you know, Lee, Lee Corso's getting up there in age, you know. Game day's going to need to replace him soon, Marsh. I, you know what? Uh, I know, isn't that – that's that's crazy. But I, I just – I love sports, man. Like, I love – I've been lucky enough that, um, you know, we, we got to travel to a bunch of – my dad took me to a bunch of sports games around the country. I saw the Canes. Um play in Chicago at the Bear Stadium against Notre Dame. I've I've been to I've been to Notre Dame, which I think is one of the greatest places I've ever been. Uh, uh, went to an NLCS game uh, in LA, went to a World Series game with the Marlins, been a few World Series games with the Marlins, but um I just love sports, man. I just love it. Like I really I love it. I'm with you. I mean, my dad's mostly into baseball. And so I I've I've been to a lot of different baseball parks around the country, but uh I definitely need to go to more NFL and NBA stadiums. And, you know, I mean, for most of my adult life, I've been more into the NBA than anything else. But, mm-hmm. uh, you know, I've, I've been enjoying the NFL more and more every season. So, well, and, and it's harder to, like, say, like, yeah, I just want to go to, like, a, a Celtics game or, or a Nick game. Because, like, I mean, if it's just, like, if it's playoffs, I can understand. But, like, going to, just, like, going to a regular season MLB game and a regular season NFL game, like, that still means something. But like just like another NBA game, like I feel like that doesn't mean yeah. as much. I there's like I want to go to a Duke UNC basketball game. I want to go to a Kentucky game. Yeah, um, I think that would be pretty chill. Um, but yeah, just a lot of cool things. Yeah. So, anyways, dude, this season's gonna be fun. I'm I'm excited for uh, doing the podcast during the year. You know, it's. Oh yeah. Oh I'm, yeah. I'm, I can't. I, I'm I'm like so excited. Like as the summer months go on and like knowing that like we're getting closer and closer i can't wait till we're like a month away and i'm just i'm just yelling on this podcast <laughs> yeah oh so. man i'm gonna need like a 10 minute block every week just to say how much i hate the big 10 and how overrated the whole conference is so. hey. yeah absolutely that sounds oh, amazing God, hell man i i hate the big 10 i did every not know that year, there's like seven of them that are ranked in the preseason polls and their conference sucks so i mean they all stay in the top 25 and then Ohio State comes out of there, and they're like, oh, they beat six ranked teams. Well, yeah. then they get smashed by whoever they're playing, you know, whoever they're playing out of conference in, in bowl season. Happens every year, man. You're not wrong. We'll have to we'll yeah. uh, save some time for that. Oh, they beat the Iowa Hawkeyes, man. That's such a good win. Like <laughs> Iowa beat. Well, they beat Northwestern. Well, who did they beat? Oh, well, they beat Wisconsin. Yeah. Well, you know, maybe all those teams suck. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, yeah. brother. Well, hey, another great episode. Thanks to Travis, our veteran of the week, and also John for coming on the show. Um, we're back at it tomorrow, eh? Yeah, RIP NBA season, man. I'm I'm sad. Yeah, maybe we'll have like a little memorial service for uh for the NBA season tomorrow. But um, I I'm I'm done for today. You got anything else for today, Jordan? Oh, I'm good, man. I'm good. Good deal, good deal. Well, hey guys, we love we love you guys. We, we do love you guys, those that listen. Um, and we thank you for the support. And as always, go Canes. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, go Canes. This has been the Forza Podcast.
Podcast.